The ARMIS trial is a study in non-metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer. And uh, what is very important for those patients who do not have metastasis, but they have rising PSA, so they have castrate levels of testosterone and rising PSA levels. Um, you don't. You want not to have those patients be, um, becoming meta uh, getting metastatic. Metasta metastases are lead to comorbidities. If you have metastasis in the bone, uh, that's leading to pain, uh, radiation therapy, surgery. So it's very important to delay metastasis and do this with really a drug. Uh, which has not many side effects because, in fact, a rising PSA doesn't uh, lead to any symptoms, so those patients are asymptomatic. So this study has been conducted in 1,509 patients. We have randomized 1,509 patients. 1,508 have been treated. And uh, uh, we have seen a clinically significant improvement in metastasis-free survival. So with uh, MFS of 40.4 uh, 40 uh, 40 months for darolutamide and 18.4 months um, in the comparator arm. Comparator arm here means ADT and the treatment arm is ADT plus darolutamide. The secondary endpoints have been overall survival time to pain progression, time to cytotoxic chemotherapy, time to first symptomatic skeletal event. Uh, in overall survival, we have seen a strong trend in favor for darolutamide with a hazard ratio of 0.71 and a p-value of uh, 0.045. Um, time to pain progression, time to cytotoxic chemotherapy, time to SSE, all three again uh, very much in favor for darolutamide. Uh, maybe to mention time to pain progression has been measured with uh, PPISF, which is a questionnaire which has been filled out by patients. And uh, so a patient relevant endpoint, so it was a delay of pain, so a 35% reduction uh, of uh, uh, pain when pain did, uh, did uh, appear. So um, very strong uh, efficacy results, but uh, we think the the most important results of our study are really the, the safety results. So we have um, had a discontinuation rate for AEs which was comparable, so 8.9% in the darlutamide arm and 8.7% in the comparator arm. So due to adverse events, I, uh, those uh, discontinu uh, discontinuations have been comparable. And of utmost importance is really that we did not add any clinically um, relevant toxicity when we added our lutamide to ADT. So for uh, adverse events which are known to be associated with other androgen receptor inhibitors like fractures, falls, seizures, cognitive disorders, weight decrease, hypertension, so we did not add any additional risk when we added darlutamide to um, ADT. And I think this is very important, uh, thinking about this patient population, as I mentioned, which is asymptomatic. Um, and you want to maintain quality of life. You do not want to add additional toxicities um, for, to, to when you are treated and you, know, you, are, you, you want to maintain your lifestyle. Um, quality of life was maintained. Um, this is, um, I think, also very good for the patients here. And um, yeah, I think this is, these are really the, the major points um, what I would have wanted to, to state here for darolutamide. So we are very glad that there is an option for patients which is very well tolerated and um, very important for patients with uh, no symptoms. We are just currently um, discussing with health authorities and uh, looking forward to approval and then we will see. I mean, as mentioned, I think a, a drug which is so tolerable um, should have um, a space in the treatment landscape, definitely. Well, I think uh, the cognitive uh, function disorders are very important also for those patients so that you don't have mental impairment or dizziness. 
things like that and seizures. So uh, in our trial, we have also had patients entering with seizures into the trial, which is also different to um, other trials.